And here I have a 7.3 that came in, it was running rough. Did a cylinder contribution test, found it running rough on number one and number eight. Um, told the customer we need to do a compression check and possibly needs injectors because the cranking compression sounds even when you listen to it. But on further inspection, I pulled the air filter off, noticed that the box is broke and also that the uh, turbo was dust and worn out. So um, he declined it, bought his own injectors at the market and brought it back so it's still running on rough on number one and eight once he replaced the injectors. I pulled it apart, did a manual compression check. As you'll see, uh, cranking compression is 400, a little bit over 400. Uh, no problem there with the cranking compression, but watch the results of what I see and what I found. Because I did end up telling him uh, that he needed the long lead injector on number eight and installing that and didn't get any bit different results than what he did. So I was wrong. It's cost me. I had to, uh, I'm going to end up taking this injector back out. Also, uh, quite an extensive uh, testing finding this one. So that's why I want to relay it on to you, maybe uh, save you a little bit of a headache on it. If you get one here, it's rare, but yes, it could happen. There is proof. Okay, you want to check your oil, make sure it's at the proper level and also the proper type of oil. Ask the customer if you suspect it or change it if you're not sure. But of course, oil is very important on the, uh, on all the engines, but especially on the 7.3 and 6.0 because we use it as a hydraulic fluid for the injectors. Okay, this is the miles on that 7.3 that comes back with a number 8 running rough misfire code. And if you see, it's actually the model is not too bad, but the truck's not very well maintained. Let me show you underneath the hood what it looks like and what I'm going through. This was my first clue with the turbo. Anytime you get that much turbo wear, you definitely expect dusting. The same abrasive air that went through the turbo goes through the cylinders too. So we start to see problems. That's why I suspected it. And why I want to be a little more thorough with my compression check. And we'll show you here what we found after doing the uh, telling the customer he needs an injector on number one and eight, and then having it come back with it. I, I tried a, um, he had aftermarket injectors with a, not a special long lead, so I put in a number eight long lead. Ended up with the same result with a misfire on number eight. And I'll show you why here. Okay, this is number eight. See, I have it this time hooked up to number eight. So this is the number eight cranking compression. And also notice it sounds really even. The engine, I mean, just by listening to it, you would not suspect a low cylinder. But here's number eight cranking compression. consistent right there with number six so they both should be even they have the same compression get the injectors get some fuel to them should be pretty good now let's check the running test
number one to cranking compression. Number three, cranking compression. Okay, this is number six, cranking compression. As you can see, I have the uh, number six glow plug out. Here's my cranking compression results. Okay, it's peaked out at 400 PSI.